Welcome to Today Matters, our short devotional in the Word of God. And I am taking you a little bit deeper into our 10-10-10 vision plan. And I really hope that you'll be able to grasp a little bit more of our core identity, who we are as a church, and what we're trying to accomplish. And so we're walking through our core values in about five minutes a day because I really Again, I want, I want to help you grasp it. I don't want you to just hear those things, see it on the walls, and feel like, well, it's kind of a disconnect. I really want you to see how we're playing those things out. How Those aren't just things that are in our walls. You know, Those aren't just things that you see um, as you walk down the halls. They're actually happening. And I love the phrase, you know, are the things that are on your walls happening down your halls? In other words, are we putting those things into action? And praise God, we are, but we got to know what they are. And it's our staff knows them, our board knows these things, but we want to make sure our church, every single person in our church, knows and understands all of these core values and how they apply at Skyline Church. So the second core value, first one we talked about yesterday was found people, find people, and that is evangelism. We find that in the Great Commission. The second one is, it's a churchy word, but we've, it's called fellowship. Um, you've heard that word, Fellowship. And the next part of the verse in the Great Commission says, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now, here's how we say fellowship. You'll never walk alone. You'll never walk alone. That's fellowship. And we illustrate what fellowship means by saying you'll never walk alone. See, this is a core value of ours. You'll never have to walk alone through anything in life if you're a part of this church family. We're going to be there for you. We're going to be there. See, the Bible says to do good to all people, but especially the family of believers. That's the church. Now, we are, we are hyper-focused on reaching lost people, no question about it. But we have to first take care of the church family. That's, that's biblical mandate. We do that first. You, our church family, are our priority of care. We want to make sure we care for you as we teach and learn and equip each other to go out and reach more people. That's our mandate, fishing and following we talked about yesterday. Now, when you go through our membership class, if you haven't been baptized, that's what becoming a member makes it official. That's official when you become baptized. Okay, that's important. Now, if you're baptized in another church, you knew what you were doing, you were being baptized because of your faith in Jesus Christ, that counts. Okay, you don't have to be rebaptized. We'll certainly baptize you again if you want to, but you don't have to be, okay? Uh, You become an official member of our church if you go through our step one membership class, step one of the seven steps. We'll talk more about that later, okay? You're baptized into the fellowship of the church if you haven't been baptized before, and you're baptized into the fellowship of believers, see? And so it's important you understand when we talk about fellowship, we want to make sure our church family needs are met. We're not just going out finding new people while we ignore our church family. We're going out finding new people while we care for the ones that are here in our church home. So we have several ways, though, that we want to deepen our fellowship with believers. The main way is through our small group ministries. And I want to encourage you, if you're not part of a small group, man, it is life-changing. Okay, It is one of the most impactful ways that you can grow your faith. Here's the reality. You don't have time to learn everything the hard way. You don't have time to read all the books on all the things in life. But being in a small group, you're able to learn from others. Many times, they've already been through what you're going through, and it saves you a ton of time, a ton of heartache, and a ton of unnecessary pain. See, it's wise to learn from experience, but it is even wiser to learn from the experience of others. When we fellowship together, We walk through life together. And so many people are feeling lonely, especially with the forced loneliness of COVID. And loneliness is the leading cause of anxiety and depression. And we have a built-in system to cure loneliness. It is the biblical system of small groups. Now understand, we have a very easy policy to get involved. You can try different small groups, okay? Or you can start one on your own. You can start a small group. See, most of our groups are sermon-based. We provide the small group questions to get the discussions going. You're off and running on a great time of fellowship. 
okay? Being a host of small groups, so by the way, we're going to need more hosts, okay? That is going to be huge as we continue to grow. More people are willing to open their home and say, yeah, come on, just come on over. All you got to do is have some coffee ready or something, and, and uh, you can have, make, have people bring their own food or, or you can provide it, whatever, up to you, but we'll provide the questions. Every Sunday, they are in the notes, on, in the sermon notes, the questions are there. And so it'd be awesome if you might want to do a small group. And by the way, that's also how we start new campuses. Oftentimes, a campus may start as a small group, 10, 15, 20, 30, all of a sudden 40 people or whatever, and we're going, hey, we need to start a campus there. But when we say you'll never walk alone, that's really up to you. It's up to you in plugging in. We're not going to hunt you down. We're going to care for you, but we're, we're going to do our part. We're going to make sure we're here for you at every stage of life, and as a matter of fact, we have a senior center that is in process. That's not part, not part of the 10, 10, 10 campaign. We're not raising money for the senior center. That's a separate project that uh, we're working with developers and getting that all dialed in. I will be in Phoenix a little bit next week and trying to figure that out. We're going to go look at an example of one that was just built in Phoenix area, and we'll be able to bring those ideas back. But we're in process. I want you to know that because we believe wholeheartedly in you'll never walk alone. Every stage of life, that means when we get this thing built, the senior center, okay, we'll literally be able to minister to someone at every stage of life, from the womb to the tomb on this campus in Rancho San Diego. When we say you'll never walk alone, we mean it. So I want to encourage you, connect in fellowship today because today matters.